Well, hey everyone, this is Darren from DD Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. We're going to be talking about Dogecoin to 10 cents. I still believe that Dogecoin has a future. I still believe that Dogecoin is going to be going up and things will be going up and up, up. And we are seeing right now that the crypto markets are going up. It's Sunday out here in Vietnam. It's raining behind me. I'm at the beach out there. So it's a wet, wet, normally day out there. It's pretty nasty. Also, we're going to be talking about some highs that could be coming in for Bitcoin, guys. So if this sounds interesting, if this sounds interesting, go down there, smash the like, subscribe, and show some love. And remember, not all this is financial advice. Just an OG now is expressing my opinion. And guys, do go back and watch all my other videos. I would appreciate it, guys. And remember, it's not about, you know, trying to time the tops. It's not about trying to time the bottoms. It's about time in the market, guys. And we're going to be talking about how you can be successful in the crypto markets. And I still believe that 10 cents, 10 cents is still in the cards for Dozier right now. So if we take a look at what's going on with the heat, heat map, we're seeing it's a pretty good day out there. We're getting seeing a nice Sunday green, green day out there. So that is pretty lovely job out there. Bitcoin is uh, about 27.8. That is pretty good because we have some resistance there at 27.8. If we can stay above the 27.8 area for for Bitcoin is looking pretty good. We're seeing that Ethereum is making its way back uh, closer to $2,000. And right now, if we take a look at the crypto markets, we're seeing that so far right now at time recording we're seeing that, that the crypto markets are at a big resilient they're bouncing back we're up about 1.66 percent so that is pretty good we're seeing the total uh, market cap and cap cap breakdown is at 1.17 trillion we're seeing in the last 24 hours most of the crypto currencies are making a comeback the week is not looking good but i think that you know we are slowly going to move up guys move up you know slowly slowly half a percent one percent but i think there's going to be a measure move to the upside. So Bitcoin is right now at 27.6. Let me just give this a minty refresh. Minty refresh time. So we're seeing that Bitcoin is at 27.6. Uh, we're seeing Ethereum is at 1,800 and 72. Not too bad. We're seeing Cardano is up 2%. We're seeing the Doge is the Doge right now is back above 8 cents. And that gives me more and more feeling, more and more credence out there. That we could be seeing a Dogecoin going above eight cents, so that is pretty good. What do we got in terms of big announcements? The next big announcement is coming February 28th, and then there's a PCE index out there, and the core PCE index is coming out at 8:30 a.m. on April 28th. So this is huge, guys! Absolutely, absolutely huge, huge happening uh, in about five days. So five days, this is going to really help to give us an indication that the markets are going to be going up, inflation is going down, guys. So that is pretty good news out there. As I talked about earlier, we're still in the greed phase. 56 guys and remember smart money does the opposite guys so right now the best time to be buying is when when people were fearful uh or neutral out there and we're starting to see that you know we will see that retail will start to follow in around about 60 65 68 we'll still see that uh you know the retail investor will start to fall in if you take a look at the bitcoin chart right now in terms of rainbow chart it's still saying that this is a good buy buy it's telling you free goodbye, guys. This is not financial advice. Well, I'm going to be loading up on more and more Bitcoin, guys. I plan on buying more and more Bitcoin. So, so far, we've got to, uh, 349 days, 12 hours to the next halving, guys. Good news out there. If we take a look at what's going on for Ethereum right now, Ethereum is starting to come back a little bit. We are still seeing that we have a bear flag, which is negative, but we definitely need to see uh, Ethereum get past this 1977 area, and that will confirm that we are a bullish again about Ethereum. You know, when the trend is your friend, if you zoom out, definitely the trend is going up, guys. Uh, I would appreciate it. And sorry, I'm all red. There's like a red light over top of me, and that's kind of like shining some redness. Some pretty good redness on me, so I apologize for that as well. So we take a look at what's going on with Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin is just below just below my support level of 27.8 right here on this. Coin market camp, uh, you know, is saying that we're below. We're also we're seeing that the heat of heat map is saying we're above. Remember, this is only the Binance chart. Remember, Heat map, clear market cap are the aggregate. So you're gonna see a little bit of slippage as prices are changing. So I thought I'm 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 still hopeful. We're seeing that Bitcoin is doing the crappy walk out there. So I think that we'll see the thing is going up out there, guys. So this is coming in from Trader Target. We can see that the Fibonacci level in 2015, we did see that once the Fibonacci level on the day they did hit the 078, we had a breakout to the upside, guys. So right now we're seeing that the second leg of Bitcoin has just hit the 078 Fibonacci level. And this could mean that we could be breaking out. Once we go above a $13,000, this is going to confirm a huge breakout to the upside. So this is looking pretty, pretty good 
for a Bitcoin out there. Also, it looks like stock money lizards out there are saying interest in support level at 25K. Tick tock, tick tock. We have support one at 25K, support two at 27,000 to 278. So far, so far, we're holding, 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 holding guys and gals so we can confirm above uh 27,800 for the next 24 hours and we don't get any macroeconomic negative news then we could see uh bitcoin slowly reversing slowly slowly reversing you see bitcoin is happening at the same pace as in 2020 and we can see that the triple top resistance here and here here and here uh, and breakout of resistance with strong uptrend momentum retrace back to the support levels. So we can see a little bit of a trace back to the support levels, but after that we could have a nice a nice accumulation before the takeoff. So we're seeing a little bit of accumulation, a little bit of accumulation. We're gonna see some sideways action out there, and then we could have pow, pop to the moon, guys, and don't get a smash. Two is going, pretty good. One, one, one to the moon, guys. Great time to be live, guys, and smash the freaking likes out there. So I believe we could be seeing a hundred thousand dollar incoming pretty soon, guys. Actually, pretty, pretty soon coming in for uh, Bitcoin. And I think that we could see a top all-time high coming in uh, in 2023. I'm, you know, call me, call me overly optimistic, but I'm feeling pretty optimistic, guys. Also, some lot more data that proves that the OG is optimistic. And why I'm optimistic, look at the amount of supply last active 10 years just reached an all-time high. So we're seeing that this, these Bitcoins, these Bitcoins have not moved in 10 years. So that is fine, guys. Absolutely lovely jubbly out there. It looks like, you know, the fourth biggest bull run hit in the history hit beginning. It's absolutely, absolute beginning, guys. You know, and every time we move into these positive zones and we have the RBIG indicator uh, flips up, we often have the confirmation of a bull run. So I still believe that the bull run has started. We're seeing right now that the Bitcoin has flipped. That's a positive, positive news out there, guys. Don't forget to be part of the conversation. Go and be part of the conversation. I appreciate it. And it looks like the future of Dogecoin. I believe that Dogecoin is going to go and hit 10 cents very soon. We are above 8 cents, guys. And I believe it's, you know, Dogecoin is still the top 10 popular currency out there. Uh, out there, And it's the second biggest proof of, work, uh, can, uh, proof of work consensus mechanism out there. And I believe the community is strong. And Elon Musk is still supporting the Doge. I believe that Dogecoin is going to go to 10 cents, guys. And here's why. We can see that Dogecoin is being pretty resilient. We're above 8 cents, guys. And I think that we are slowly, slowly moved back. We need to get above all the EMA ribbons right now. So once we get past this blue line here, and that is around about 8, 0, 8, 5 cents, 8 and a half cents, this will confirm a bullish bullishness for Dogecoin. And I think it's a matter of time. I think we are going to see some reversals. I think next week is going to be good for Doge. What's happening for Doge right now? Dogecoin is up 1.3%, guys. Not too shabby. See Mark, you have 11.1 billion out there. And we're seeing the volumes a little bit like this. Don't forget, so we get out there. But the good news is that 55% of all the Doge Green holes are in the money. So it's smash. Doge Green. One more one. Two freaking moon, guys. I love it. You love it. And guys, if you want to support the community, what you got to do is you got to tweet, make some content, get it out there, guys. Push it out there, guys. And if you take a look at uh, what's going on uh, in terms of, uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know, what Elon Musk thinks is Doge Coin to the freaking moon. Doge Coin to the moon. Let's get it, guys. Absolutely, let's get it, guys. I love it. We love it out there. And, you know, overall, we're seeing that uh, right now that Shiba Inu is, is coming back. Uh, we're at 1030. We could be hitting 1100 out there. So that is not too shabby, not too freaking shabby out there. So things are looking pretty good. We can see that the, the old coins of Dogecoin are slowly, slowly making a move to the upside, guys. And I think that we're going to be getting back to these levels. Uh, you know, I think in about five days, we should be back up to these levels. I think in about five days, we should see Dogecoin back up to these levels. I think we could see Dogecoin back up to $0.09 cents in about five days from now. I'm thinking it. You're thinking it. It's a great time to be live, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my Twitter. I appreciate it. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. We got uh, 7,500 followers. I appreciate it. Guys, don't forget to get to merch, guys. Gear with OG gear. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Do not be do not be dismayed about what you're seeing about Dogecoin. Dogecoin looking uh, fantastic. I think it's just a matter of time. Joe's quite resilient. And if you love this channel like I love you guys, go down there, smash the freaking likes. Joe's going one, one, one right now. Pow, pins out.